On behalf of both families, I would like to thank you all for being here and supporting Rob and Megan on this special day. Let's open in a word of prayer. Father, we're so grateful that you, the creator of heaven and earth, love us, care about us, and listen to our prayers. Lord, we ask that you would bless Rob and Megan today and every day of their marriage, that they would seek to know you, help them find you as the foundation of their lives, and to love one another in good times and bad. We ask this in your son's name. each day choose to love Megan by putting her desires ahead of your own. Megan, each day choose to love Rob by putting his desires ahead of your own. The feeling of this wedding day will fade in and out, and in those moments, you both must choose to love. Megan and Rob had chose to plant a tree to represent their commitment to each other. Their mothers are going to add the soil to the tree, representing all that each family has poured into their lives as individuals, blending them. Now as the tree represents your marriage, you will both have to pour your lives into it to keep it growing. And Rob and Megan have consented together in marriage and have made their vows before God and these witnesses and have symbolized their vows by giving and receiving rings. I now, by the authority as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. May those who God has joined let no one separate it. You may kiss your bride.
celebrate this beautiful couple. We weren't sure if we were even going to be able to be here today, but I'm so glad we are and it means so much that all of you are here with us. As kids, I always tried to be the mother hen and tell Meg whether she should or shouldn't do something and Meg's knew just how to put me in my place, sometimes literally. We had many spats because she was the pesky little sister who always wanted to tag along. Then as the years went by, somehow you went from being the annoying little sister to my very best friend. And though I may not have always shown it, I am so thankful God blessed me with you as my sister. The stories I could tell you from childhood till present day would last all night and into next week, so we're not going to go into all those, but I must share one story. We all knew early on that Rob was going to one day become officially part of our family. And I believe it was Easter Sunday, 2016, and we had made a trip down to visit our dad at U of M. And I think dad knew that he may not be here for today. And he told Rob then, you know you have my blessing when the day comes. I know he is up there smiling down on you both today, as there could not be a more perfect couple made for each other. They both love to be outdoors, gardening, tending to their flowers, hunting and fishing, which is a good thing because we all know fishing is really Rob's full-time job. <laughs> Our parents did amazing jobs raising these two beautiful souls, and they have been excellent role models to us. May you have as long and loving of a marriage as them. To the bride and groom. I love you. as the best man. Rob and I have been good buds most of our lives. We basically grew up together, playing or working. And through all of our time together, Rob has always had a stellar personality and attitude. Always willing to lend a hand, offer good advice, or invite you along on a fun trip. Then along came Megan. Right from the start, I knew these two would do well together. Megan, like Rob, also has an awesome laid-back personality, enjoys the outdoors, and is always up for a good laugh. So she has no problem being in on one of Rob's numerous pranks or jokes. The two fit like a glove, and I am certain they will have a great future together. The simple fact that Rob's hunting and fishing hasn't slowed down since they met is a sure sign. 
but seriously, these two were meant for each other, and I would like to wish them nothing but the best, great health and happiness. So with that being said, I would like to propose a toast. Rob, early in your marriage, you will find it difficult to get the last word in any discussion. With time, though, you'll learn how to always get the last two words in every discussion. Just make sure the words are yes, dear. Here's to the new Mr. and Mrs. DeMay show. Cheers. Yeah.